Hello and welcome to the Argonaut Weekly. We are joined here by UWF Volleyball Head Coach Melissa Walter. Coach, first and foremost, congratulations. Picked up your 200th win here at UWF. How does it feel to kind of reach that milestone? Um, you know, it feels really good, It's, but it's never something, I don't even think about that kind of stuff. The only reason I know that that's, that was on the horizon was because of the, the media release that you guys put out. Um, it's much more about what we're doing every day that's helping us get to those um, milestones, but it's not me, it's not my, my milestone, it's it's our program's milestone. And um, But yeah, it's, it's, it's neat, and I think our, our players, they jumped on board with it too, so it was kind of cool, and it's neat when anybody can reach milestones, but I feel like we've We've cultivated an environment where it's not just about an individual coach or an individual player, it's about our entire program. All right, now two more wins this past weekend at West Georgia and Valdosta State, but a couple of really close sets in those two wins. What did you do to kind of talk to the kids as far as getting them pumped up and really taking those sets that were closer? Um, I thought that you know, I thought that we had some great matches this weekend and got challenged in a lot of different ways. Um, kind of seemed like when we called the timeouts, we, I don't know if you say the right things or what it is, if people just need a breather. I just felt like um, our players needed to relax a little bit. Sometimes you get tense in those situations, and we always tell our players to trust their training and to go out and um, execute whatever our game plan is at that point, and I felt like our players responded very well to that. All right, now four games this upcoming weekend. You get a break from conference, but how important is it for you as a team to get wins against good teams in the region like Tampa and Lynn and St. Leo? Um, I'm not going to lie, it's huge. That's that's why we run this tournament, you know, and last year at this point we um, played in a, a regional crossover down at Florida Southern and went 3-1, um, and one, and it was it was vital to the finish of our season. So I'm excited. I think our players are really excited to have these teams come into our gym and play in our house, and um, obviously traditionally we've played very well at home, so I think our kids are super excited to play great competition in the region and kind of um, be the foreshadowing for the end of the season and hopefully we can come up with some wins this weekend that will allow us to um, make our way into that first regional ranking. All right, West Florida will have four more games this upcoming weekend starting Thursday against Florida Southern and finishing on Saturday afternoon with a good game against number two Tampa. You can catch all the action right here at GoArgos.com.